Hi, welcome back to Queen's Natural Hair Care YouTube channel. Okay, today I'm going to be discussing uh, my APA herbs peroxide, hydrogen peroxide herb. Uh, it's 3% in it. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the correct way to use it and please how not to use it. So what we're talking about today is the APA um, product. APA is not a choice. Uh, you can find that website at apaisnotachoice.com. Going over the new product line. I'm going to be going over each product line one by one. Uh, so therefore, when clients get the product, you can go to the YouTube to figure out how to use it instead of calling me like every second, which I don't mind, but uh, I really don't have a lot of time because my phone is always ringing and I always have other things I have to do as far as my other product line as well. So I'm trying to, uh, as fast as I can, get these videos up showing each product one at a time, how to use it and hoping to explain it the correct way so I don't have to redo this uh, video. So last week I was discussing the healing ointment, you know, what it does. Again, you can always go to the website, apaisnotachoice.com and uh, look at the product itself and it'll tell you exactly what it do, what it heals. Um, with that being said, of course, uh, I'm gonna go ahead into the next product. So today we're gonna be talking about the APA hydrogen peroxide. It's a healing herb. It's a um, peroxide, but it has herbs in it to help you move along faster and to heal that scalp uh, three times faster than what any other peroxide would do. A lot of people do not know about peroxide. Peroxide has been around for a thousand of years and I have been using it. My mom has been using it since I was a kid. She actually used it for everything in the house. You get sick, she say, go get peroxide. You fall down, she say, get peroxide. You feeling sad, she go get some peroxide. <laughs> but you know, so in our house, peroxide pretty much did everything. You know, so I stay with what works and it has been working. Okay, so with the APA um, herb peroxide, this is not a mouth spray. I see that out there. You don't wanna spray it in your mouth. I mean, if you did spray it in your mouth, you're not gonna die or not. But I honestly would like, for instance, uh, to spread on your hair, on your scalp, on your open wounds, or whatever is going on that you're trying to heal up quick, fast, in a hurry. Whether it's razor bumps, you can spray the APA uh, peroxide herb on your razor bumps to go ahead and get the bacteria out of your face really, really fast. And with that being said, if there was any sores or abrasion, it'll uh, exit that right up out the way as well. Um, for those who have the scalp disorder, uh, the soreness, just uh, the scabs and all that stuff, you can go ahead again and use the APA. You'll shake it really well to get the herbs off up in there. Uh, if you just completely ball, it's even easier. I prefer, uh, prefer that you go ahead and rinse your head with lukewarm water. If possible, use, you know, purified water, you know, because the water in the sink is too hard for the scalp, makes it tight, and then it comes back and give you a dryness, make it itch. But if you have any abrasion on your scalp, do not use any shampoo, do not use any oils, don't use anything. If you really want to heal this scalp, just keep your scalp clean with good water, okay? Not the sink water. Uh, rinse your scalp with good water. Of course, everyone knows about the baking soda that I talk about. Come back in after you done wet your hair down. Uh, go ahead and clean the scalp with baking soda really good. Uh, then rinse it off. If you got to rinse it with warm, regular warm water, that's fine. Or just heat up your water. Rinse the scalp really good. Come back in. Shake the APA uh, herb peroxide. Shake it really good. Get those herbs off up in there. And just go ahead and mist the scalp really good. You'll see all the spawn, all the bubbly, and the tingling coming out. 
Let that sit. Do not rinse it off. If the scalp is really bad, maybe two times worse than what, what it should do, go ahead and let that foam up for about five, uh, three to two minutes. After you do that, shake it again and hit it again. Don't be afraid to go ahead and hit it if the head is already bald. With that being said, once you have done that, just let it sit and cool off. Okay, it's gonna get dry, it's gonna get tight, but try not to itch. If you can do that for a good two days, you'll notice the scab will start falling off, it'll start disappearing. Once that happens, then you can start using my healing ointment. The ointment on APA, the healing ointment. Uh, go ahead and moisturize that back in. But again, uh, for instance, like, I had, I don't know if you can see it, this little sore that was on here, uh, I got bit. I don't know why I keep getting bit up, but I got bit, you know. So I went ahead and dried it out real good with Perox, uh, of course with the baking soda, because I believe in that baking soda, because it has things in it to bubble up the germs as well. Once I did that, I sprayed it really good, sprayed the wound, just washed all the germs and the bacteria come out of it. Oh, still got germs and bacteria because it's bubbling up right now, again, as you can see. So, and it's burning. So that lets me know that my, my skin is still open. I still have germs in it. So I probably need to use this two more times again today. But what it did do, it put the scalp back on it immediately. But I can see when you know once it bubble up, that means that your pores are still open, so you easy to catch germs if you already have an open wound. That's why it's important to take the APA peroxide herb to kill it, and it will kill it three times faster, and it'll heal the skin back really smooth, you know, without uh, the scarring. So this is how you use the uh, peroxide herb. Anything that's going on on the scalp, that's what I uh, originally made it for. But also, if you have pimples and they that already burst and open, and you need to hurry up and get the scalp back on and heal, you can go ahead and hit that sore real good on your face. Do it like two or three times in a day. By the time you wake up, you'll be able to just peel that scalp right off, which is awesome. Anyway, so uh, there's, there's nothing really much to it. Uh, again, it is not for the mouth, but like I said, if you did use it for your mouth, it, w it wouldn't kill you, but I don't recommend that you do. Use it on any abrasion, any cuts, anything that's itching and damaging you, uh, your skin. Go ahead and heal that up real quick with the APA herb ointment. So I hope that I explained that. Again, you can find that at apaisnotachoice.com. It will look like this little bottle right here, it'll say APA uh, Hydrogen Peroxide Herb, okay? Always shake the, shake up the bottles, get the herbs flowing to the top. Uh, also, uh, for those who don't have hair, you can hit your scalp every day before you put your wig on. It's a good idea to keep that fungus bacteria from you suffocating your scalp under the wig. If you're using the APA every day, and also with the uh, healing ointment, you won't have to worry about catching uh, that funky smell that people do have up, up, up under their wig or bacteria or fungus because it'll fight it right off. Uh, for those who do have hair, I will say like in any, any other peroxide, if you sprain your scalp and you have little hair, be aware that the hair is gonna turn like an orange red, okay? But it's no big deal. It'll turn that color uh, which is kind of cool because you don't have to dye your hair. What I do with my APA herb uh, peroxide, because I don't believe in color, so I'm always missing my scalp anyway. I've been using this, um, I've been using this before I even created it. So every day, um, my roots are getting black. Once the sun, especially in the summer, I miss my hair all the time, especially the roots. Go out, go to the grocery store, just hang out at the park or whatever, or sit on my porch in the sun because what it's going to do is going to start turning the black hair back red, which is perfect for me because after not only am I healing my scalp and keeping the bugs off my scalp, but I'm also lightening it at the same time in a natural way. And so once it turned the color I wanted to do, which it take me 
If I really want it red, I'll do it for three days straight and try to get out there uh, in some real sun uh, to get that oxidation to go ahead and lift my scalp really good. Once it does that, I can easily go get my Kool-Aid that I like to put on top of my scalp and turn my, my uh, roots back a nice red. Or if you like, uh, if you don't like horse colors, just say the hair turned on to red already. Uh, you can just go ahead and put a rinse, a black rinse on your head or a blonde rinse and it'll come out really, really pretty and you don't have to worry about your hair being uh, all uh, brittle, dry, and damaged because it's nothing that's going to make it fall out. Okay, so that's another good thing that this can do for you, but what it does for me is awesome because I'm coloring my hair, my scalp, uh, every month by itself just spraying it and then making sure it kills off whatever's trying to get off up in my locks or whatnot. So I hope that I explained the uh, herbs, the peroxide herb. And if I did not, if I missed something, please don't hesitate to go ahead and um, leave me a comment and go ahead and subscribe to that channel. Give me a thumbs up and let me know what it is that I can help you with. And again, when you receive the product, please don't be shy to call my number or email me. I return calls instantly. I mean, I'm, I'm on it. And I thank God for that because my phone rings all day, but I'm able to catch everyone and keep responding because I want to be one-on-one -on -one with my clients. And I enjoy being one-on-one -on -one and letting you guys know that I truly, truly care and that I am here to help and support you in any way. Uh, again, uh, the next video I will be uh, discussing uh, uh, Patches Be Gone, how to use that, exactly what it, what it does, and what's the difference between my therapeutic oil and uh, Patches Be Gone. So that will be on my next video explaining how to use that and what it does for a sensitive scalp. I do truly hope that you guys like this video and I'm trying to give you the knowledge that I can and I will keep posting video to help you guys as much as I can. Again, don't be shy to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Uh, email me. I respond immediately back. I'll post my number on the video where you can email me and exactly where you can purchase the product at. The product can be used for anyone but it's mainly for sensitive scalp people, those who are fighting off scalp disease. But anyone can stay healthy and use a Queen's Natural Hair Care product. As myself, I use it, I use all of my product and I have not had any problems at all. Everyone do know that I had cut my locks quite some time ago. You can't see the bottom of them, but they have already grown back, which is really cool. So now I'm gonna use the whole product line for the next year to see which product grows the hair faster. That's something I'm gonna do for myself. So I won't be cutting my dreads. Uh, I actually will be doing an update uh, when the summer come back around 2019 to see how long my locks have uh, got. Thank you for choosing Queen's Natural Hair Care and I hope you guys have a bliss, wonderful, blessed day. Until then, thank you and God bless.